One week I spent with his family, I realized it didn't come from the fire department. He got it from home. He got it from his family. Emotional words from Irmo Fire Chief Mike Sonnenfeld as his department and firefighters from across the country honored fallen firefighter James Muller. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us for News 19 at 6. I'm Darcy Strickland. And I'm J.R. Berry. We begin tonight with today's funeral services, which were attended by firefighters from all across the country today. Before that service got underway, a procession made its way across the Lake Murray Dam. Muller's casket draped in the American flag on his final ride on the back of an Irmo fire truck. This is drone footage about halfway along that processional today as it made its way from the Kaufman Harmon Funeral Home in Lexington to Riverland Hills Church located on Lake Murray Boulevard. You can see there was a police escort followed by the fire truck there and a few vehicles from the Irmo Fire District. Just an emotional sight seeing that fire truck crossing the dam with the casket on top. We begin this evening with team coverage from the crowds that were gathered along the streets to inside that memorial service. Sam Perez joins us now as members of the firefighting community came from across the country to honor Muller's life. Yes, Darcy Jr. here at Riverlands Hills Baptist Church. Every seat was filled and people were standing up in the back as over 2000 attendees came to honor the life of fallen firefighter James Muller. Fire personnel from more than 75 departments across the country came to pay respects. There were attendees from Ohio, New York, Maryland and North Carolina, as well as crew from across the Midlands, including Horry County, Greenville, Charleston and Anderson County, South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms and Task Force One Search and Rescue Crew came to the procession to honor Muller before heading back to work at the Tropical Ridge apartment complex where Muller lost his life. Irmo Fire's assistant, Chief of Operations Sloan Valentino said Muller's death has hit him hard. I was in a dark place. I have been since Friday night when I was at the hospital with Jay. So uh, I don't know how much of it I paid attention to. There was part of the service I was paying attention to and part of the ringing in my ears and part of the soundtrack in my head of who Jay was and who he, uh, what he meant to us. I have a million ways to remember James. I have not been able to distill that down to one. Um, James left everything better than he found it. And that is the best way I have right now to sum up who he was. During the ceremony, speakers shared about what Muller was like. They talked about his passion for his job, his love for his family, and his strong faith. Firefighters from all over played bagpipes and drums in a pipe band to honor Muller. Crews from all over the Midlands have stepped in to help out the Irmo Fire Department as they mourn the loss. Chief Valentino says that the crew is expected to get back to work on Saturday. Reporting live in Irmo, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. Darcy, back to you. Sam, thank you so much. There has been an outpouring of compassion from the community since Muller's death, and that could be seen along the route that took his body to today's funeral service as people stood along the road to see the procession. News 19's Peyton Lewis continues our team coverage. She reports from one stretch of that path. I'm here outside the Kaufman Harmon Funeral Home in Lexington, where the final journey for the body of firefighter James Muller began earlier today. His journey was from here all the way to the church where his funeral was held, and it went down North Lake Drive, where I was at about 1.30 when the procession came through, where people lined the streets to pay their final respects. Everybody should be lined up. And we're here to pay our respects, me and my wife. And we're going to stand out here and when, uh, put our hands over our heart and pay our respects. He was 25. Yep, he was a young man. I mean, that's got to hurt his family and his, and his friends. In fact, my grandson, he's a firefighter, and my understanding is that he went hunting with this young man. So they went, they went hunting together. My grandson, he's 19 years old. So 
This can happen to anybody at any time. They have a lot of training that they go through, but sometimes even the training doesn't help. And things do happen. But you just have to show respect and I'm sure God will take care of them. And we found out the funeral was today and we want to pay our respects. I have uh, two brothers, Johnny and Kirk, that are firemen, uh, two cousins, Curtis and Cece, and then I lost a cousin and I think it was 1994, Billy Bridges. I'm a combat veteran, I was Marine Infantry. I, you know, unfortunately people die, you know, and, uh, just young man, he, uh, I liked his mustache. <laughs> I saw the picture, I can't grow a mustache. <laughs> But I just feel sorry for him. I mean, he and he did something he loved. Uh, he uh, very passionate about fight, firefighting. He loved it. And donations are still being accepted by the Irmo Fire Foundation in honor of Mueller and his service to the fire squad there in Irmo. If you would like to make a donation, you can visit our website, WLTX.com, for more information. Reporting in Lexington, Peyton Lewis, News 19, WLTX. Peyton, thank you so much. And as for that fatal fire that happened on Friday evening, 12 units at the Tropical Ridge Apartments in Columbia were damaged, with 19 people being displaced. Columbia Richland Fire Chief Aubrey Jenkins says further investigation into the cause of the fire may have to wait until the partially collapsed structure can be stabilized.